Hi everyone. So today's topic is that how to create distribution sets and types in accounts payables. So first we'll discuss about the what is the meaning of our definition of distribution set and what is the advantages you can use for this one. So distribution sets nothing but is where we can derive the code combination automatically by using distribution sets. So if you look at this definition, what I mentioned here, uh, you can use a distribution set to automatically enter distribution for an invoice when you are not matching it to a purchase order, which means that whenever you're going to create invoices, non-PO invoices, ideally we would say. So for that, we can derive the code combination by using distribution sets. That is one of the good advantages we can use it. Example, you can create for an advertising suppliers a distribution set that all allocates the expenses and an invoice to four advertising departments. Okay, that is the definition for distribution sets and types. Oracle has provided ideally to our date. The other things also we can say the formula or distributed set also, but here most likely we can discuss about the two different uh, type of distribution set. One is full distribution set and the second thing is skeleton distribution set. So the first one is talking about the full distribution sets to create distribution set with the percentage amounts. So it is completely deriving the complete GL strings. It means uh, the, the particular expenses, we know the what are the code combinations we need to create it or we need to derive from the invoice. So in this case, we can go for full fully distribution set, whereas we can provide the complete all the segment values in the distribution set. That's how we can use fully distribution set. Example, rent, which already we know that uh, on a monthly basis, before going to pay, uh, paying the invoice for rent, we know what are the uh, GL strings or segment is going to be impacting, right? So that we can use that as a 100% utilization of the distribution sets. And coming to the skeleton distribution set, skeleton is nothing but is a quite common as like as a distribution set here, but we will not be giving the code combination. So here we have the, or I would say the business user should have the uh, flexibility to provide the which code combination he wants to derive the GL strings. That's where the skeleton will come. Skeleton nothing but is again what I would say. Uh, majority people or majority customers will not be using much because here we need to provide the complete code combination, whatever they want to provide it. So that is comes under the skeleton distribution set. So configurations. If you look at configuration, so how you'll go, and go and create the distribution sets. So this is the navigation part. So set up and maintenance variables, manage distribution sets. So this is the navigation part. So this is the screen we'll talk about the, where we can go to create the distribution sets. So now we'll get into the application to see that how we are going to create in the distribution sets. So already I came here, uh, create distribution sets. Uh, here you can see the which other things are mandatory. Business unit is mandatory. Name, what are the distribution set name you're going to creating. That name should be uh, required. And then distribution percentage. This is the what I told you in the uh, previous comment. Let me we'll, uh, get into creation of that. Yes, one. Let's say example here. Test full distribution set. Okay, description you can give as it is if you want. And go to create here. See, this is what here we are going to provide the 100% as a distribution percentage. Then save. At least it will record one test. Okay, fine. So here you can say
student percentage you can give percentage here 100 percent and say rent expenses code combination so here we can provide the code combination whatever you want and here you can select which will come under the income tax if you want you can provide it it's not required so here you can give the code combination so if you want to give the code combination let me go to the another instance so bring that so this is how we can look at the information get the things so go to invoice Already we have a couple of invoices got created as today's session. I'll go and call out anyone specific thing here. It will take a while to open the invoice. It's taking some time to open the invoice. Yes. See here, this is what it is showing as advertising full. So this is one of the thing already which has been already created by some other folks. So let me get into distribution. So what was the code combination was derived? It'll take a while to open the distribution as well as because a long list will be there. Yes, so this is what it is like automatically deriving the code combination based on the information, right? So now, so let me take one code combination which is required for us, and I will go to here. Uh, yeah, so here I can give the copy paste, enter, or you can give it from directly here also. There is a option here. So click on that, it will give the list of other segments as per the chart of accounts, what we defined it, right? So just say, okay. And now we can save the record. So now it, it get automatically saved, right? So this is the code combination which we provided. So now how it will be deriving so that we will uh, do the one test case. So let's save and close. See here now, other thing is that if you want to use this particular distribution set to any specific supplier, yes, that is possible. So now we will go to the procurement area and call out anyone's particular supplier where you want to do the test case. And we will assign this particular distribution set to the supplier site level where you want to use that particular distribution set. Go to procurement here. Maybe go front. Procurement, procurement, supplier, go to navigation, call out to manage supplier, supplier you can call out any one specific thing which you know or you do in the, in the real time where we want to utilize particular supplier that we call out, go and click on IBC bank customer, uh, sorry, supplier here. Uh, maybe I do not have access at a site level, maybe, probably, yes. So now what I can do, Yeah, but anyhow, so here we need to assign this particular uh, distribution set, 
okay to the supply site level we need to go click on the particular supplier and uh, go to sites and then it will pop up the site level there is one checkbox called as a liability and then distribution set there you can go and assign the distribution set which we created just now and then go and click on save and done and go to invoice tables and go to invoice we will try to create one particular invoice i will show you that will be comes under the list of distribution sets that will give a try to create one invoice yes one supplier is abc vendor so call out the specific name click on search to find out the vendor say okay and provide the invoice number saying that some random number something and uh, give them uh, yes dollars 100 bucks this is test and then save it click on lines so click on plus symbol to add the line and give the honor box here as at a level here you can see the distribution set so now whatever we created that should be populated over here right so let's see that we'll check that all the list of things here you can see test full distribution set this is how like you know we can derive the uh, automatically the code combination for the, the particular expenses okay so now you can select this one and so the moment when you select this one so automatically this distribution code combination will be degraded out so we can't enter anything here so that is how the, the system has designed here okay so distribution got automatically picked up and save the record now and go and look at distribution gl strings it should show as what we have given only one code combination over here yes see here so this is the how you can create the invoice by using distribution sets for specific categorized of the expenses types so the the benefit by using this distribution set is that user can easily uh, derive the code combination without any disturbance. That's one advantage to the business users. And second thing is time consumption will save. So that's another another one uh, we can say. So save the record now. Yeah, that's all. I hope this is cleared. Thanks for time.